when choosing a career in today's world, it's quite different from when we used to choose career as young people back in the days. If you don't choose wisely, and I can tell you what exactly is going to be happening. My name is Coach Wilfred Asuko. I am a capacity builder. I am also a certified John Maxwell coach. I'm also the founder of Zit Worldwide, a virtual coaching platform. And then I'm an IT consultant. I support and I help a lot of young people to transition from minimum wage or from um, mini jobs to a six-figure space, especially in the IT industry. So if you are interested in one of those that we do, please reach out, use the link below this video and email us. We definitely would get you up to speed. So in choosing a career in today's world, how is it different from when we used to choose careers back in the days? It's sad when I hear people say, oh, you are going to study criminal justice. Okay. Or some would say, you are going to study liberal art. Now, after you're done studying that course, what exactly will be your focus? What exactly will be your area of interest? And back in the days, our parents would coax us, would make us feel like if you're not doing engineering, if you're not doing law, if you're not doing medicine, you're not going to strive. Don't get me wrong, those courses are great. They are great. But in today's world, you can actually go into study like digital marketing and you will make fortune out of it than studying medicine or studying law. Yes, you've heard me right. So it all depends on the market trends. Have you checked what the market is saying about that course that you want to get into? As a matter of fact, we all know that, I mean, education was a structure that was created back in the days to, you know, mold you, structure you to fit into particular industry or fit into a particular area of the economy you can actually do without going to college that we all know you can pick up a skills in a particular field that are trending like again like i said the tech space you can pick up a training or a skill set as a graphic designer and that's all you need to scale you can pick up a skill as a data analyst or a data scientist, and that's all you need to scale. You might not even need to go to college. But when you are choosing a career uh, or you're going to college, look at what the trend of that particular course. What is the market value like in terms of how much are you going to be paid? Come on, that's what is selling, the moolah. You want to be able to verify and check and put some balances what exactly you stand to gain when you choose to pursue that course. Some of us are taking courses just because we want to go to college. I get it. But either way, when you are done with that course, you can still take specific training, specific certifications that will allow you to scale, that will allow you to be relevant in that field. That's what I want you to look into. I mean, I studied applied chemistry. I haven't used it to work anytime. Like <laughs> in recent times, I haven't. Either have I spent so many years working with it. I've worked in other industries significantly. Currently, I'm in the tech space. I did not study computer science. I wish I did. So again, look at what is <laughs> happening into this world look at the trend look at where the world is tilting to look at what different economy of different nations and countries is tilting to your current location what is selling what is going to give you a scalable career that's where you need to channel your energy into i hope this makes sense to somebody out there like ever see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.